Hello everyone, welcome back, and we got the chapel and the towers and the gate model. Now, we're going to shift our attention towards modeling the castle walls. So the first, let's focus on the castle wall between the garter and curfew towers in this video. Although it should be straightforward, all I need to do is to make a box. And I want the height to be around 145. Or 140 at least for the minimum and once you're done I can go to edit poly select edge and then under edit edges I can hit connect and for this one I can increase the number edges, so I'm going to go up to 34. And then you can do that by selecting the polygons until you get to the end. I can hit extrude and I want it to set it around 10. And with that completed, I can bring the wall to where it should be. Then I want to scale it a little bit to get the full direction. And that should be straightforward. Since we've already got the wall completed, although I'm going to focus on only one wall. I can do another one. So I can. We're going to like shift our attention towards making a castle wall between the curfew and the Salisbury Towers. Now, the way to do it is very different. You first need to make a box. I want to set the height to around 5. And when you're done, go to Edit Poly, select the polygon, hit Inset, and I want it to be around 10. Now I want to Select all the um, polygons in the outer part of the box, and I can extrude it. And I want it to go, say, 130. And then after that, we can increase polygon up, all you do is hit shift, make a polygon, and I want to set it a clone object and rename it floor. And 
and then I can rotate this. But before we can rotate it, we need to model the battlement, the castle. So all we do is to make a box and I want to set the height to around 15 or 10 then I can go to edit poly and go to edge section then you hit connect and I want it to be around 30 then you can select the polygons on which one you want to extrude so I will all the way up to the end and then hit extrude and send it to around 7.5 and instead of modeling the same thing I can go to the top hit shift to make a copy and hit OK. And for the other side, I can make another box just by around here. Then you want to convert to edit poly, select edge, and then hit connect. And I will set it to around 8. Let's say around 8. And then choose the polygons which one do I want to exclude and do the same thing around seven and a half hit OK and when you're done make another one hit shift and then hit OK Now we want to match the the height of the battlement with the the perpendicular one. So I want to be around the same height as the the long battlement, and then I can shift it and hit OK on that one. So then you want to. Bring the bell battlement to the very top. Oops. And bring it to the very top where it should be. And I want to be able to bring it up to the top of the wall. Around here. And in the last one, Around 
here. And for the final element, I can bring this one here. And now we're going to regroup them. And I will select group. And I should say castle wall 2. Oops. You hit control, do the thing again, and say Windsor Castle Wall, and scale it where it should be. Then Screw it. And part. Right. And then we can model another castle wall around here. So you can go so do the same thing as previous one. You just connect the edges and hit connect. Hit OK. And now I can select the polygons on where I want to extrude. And I want it to set around 8. Then I can bring the wall where it should be. I can screw this model and rotate it where it should be. And now you have it. So this, so. This was the video on how to model the uh, parts of the castle walls around Windsor Castle. And in the next video, I'm going to cover the rest of the remaining wall over Windsor Castle in the lower ward. Hope you enjoy.